Moby Dick, a la Shmup. Look out yonder as we tackle Herman Melville's epic, Moby Dick. That's Melville, no relation to Farmville. Captain Ahab leads his crew on a fool's voyage by sea to slay the whale, Moby Dick. Are we as people following such leaders into paths of self-destruction? Or have we learned from doing so in the past? In World War II, plenty of people followed leaders whose heads were not in the right place. These leaders made their struggles the struggles of the people. <laughs> Thankfully, that regime ended. During the 1960s, a counter-revolution formed that questioned our leaders in the USA. Peace and love. Don't eat the Skittles, man. And don't trust the guys in charge and don't trust anyone over 30. But what happened to that generation? They didn't die before they got old, that's for sure. <laughs> Even today, people are still following would-be leaders. Even if the world doesn't end like they predicted. Sometimes their actions can have dire consequences. Are there modern Ishmaels bearing witness to these events? Even though there are still those who go through life blissfully ignorant, like those who followed Ahab into the abyss. There are still many of us who refuse the call, who don't want to be drowned like Ahab's crew. On the flip side, many have learned. And we have their stories to listen to and learn from, just as we have Ishmael's tale of Ahab chasing Moby Dick. So what do you think? Are we learning to be more wary of strong personalities with questionable ideas? Shmup amongst yourselves, and then follow us.